Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited Ms. Clara Chen, the marketing manager of Sirius Capital. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Clara, and I'm very glad to uh, join this event today. So, I introduced you as the marketing manager of Sirius Capital. However, you're here representing Wow Exchange. Mm. So, how does Sirius Capital relate to Wow Exchange? Um, so Sirius Capital is actually an asset management company, but it also have a focus on um, crypto exchange. Like uh, we are the first franchisee of Wow Exchange, and uh, we are also responsible for the uh, operation in Greater China. So Wow Exchange is a sister project of Wow Platform. Yeah. Before we get into Wow Platform, I'd like to deal with the Wow Exchange first. So. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, there are numerous exchanges coming up in the blockchain sphere. So, what does Wow Exchange have? What are the specific characteristics that Wow Exchange have? Hmm. Um, so, um, as you might have already known, that um, Wow Exchange is the sister project of Wow Wu platform, and it aims to build um, truly global digital assets. Um, exchange, which will be equipped with the most advanced security system as well as legal and compliance support. And um, it also will line up with uh, our sister project, uh, Wawu platform, in order to provide a variety of tokens so that users will have um, a greater choice when they do the trading. And uh, finally, we also will have a plan to roll out to uh, like 20 countries um, in order to provide our franchisee business. So, how many languages does Wow Exchange support? Um, it can be many, as long <laughs> as there is a need there. We will try our best to fulfill the customer's needs. So, let's move on to Wow Platform. So, Wow Platform, the distinct feature about it is that it locates the demand of users and generates tokens mm -hmm. on behalf of the demand of users. So, I'm curious to ask you about the process that the token generation takes place. So, would you care to explain about the token generation that WoW Platform uses and how it relates to WoW Exchange? Mm. Um, so, occasionally, uh, the WoW Platform will do um, demand analysis uh, on the users before they create the tokens. And um, say, if you have a very bright idea about your business plan and would like to launch an ICO project, I would highly recommend you to go through the online process on the uh, WoW Platform. Um, if uh, your project got selected after our careful and complete review of your application, um, the Wow platform will provide its support to help you establish the um, token economy for your business. So then, what are the standards, the criteria that the Wow platform imposes when it uh, generates tokens? Um, we do believe that um, Based on uh, Wow platform's experience, they can uh, have a very good uh, judgment and also have a complete screening for the ICO tokens. And uh, we also hope that uh, we will include some of the tokens of the Wow Exchange um, because we believe that um, a good strategy to acquire new customers is to say um, to include the uh, customers of the ICO projects. So the native token of WoW platform is WoWbit, WWB, and it is a customizable token. So then what are the customizable features, functions that the WWB provides to its users? Um, so as you mentioned just now, WWB is a customizable token. Um, say the token itself is designed to uh, provide the users access to um, different functions or services on the WoW platform. Um, and it also serves as the mode of uh, payment and um, on the other hand, it will uh, create some good impression to the users. And I do believe that um, in the future, based on our customers' needs, we will include uh, many more other tokens um, to the exchange so that the users will have a greater choice. So this is a curveball. I wasn't going to ask this when we discussed the interview previously, but uh, you personally, when it comes to uh, tokenization, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, fields that token can be uh, imposed on, uh, maybe say disrupt. Mm -hmm. So you personally, what do you prefer when it comes to uh, tokens, the types of tokens? Oh, um, 
Well, um, uh, our plan, um, well, one of our business plan will um, offer security tokens. But um, as you also understand, uh, security tokens offering really uh, needs to be strictly regulated mm -hmm. by uh, maybe the government or the local regulatory um, uh, institutions. Um, but we all believe that um, it's a great future for the STO, uh, namely a security token offering. Mm -hmm. I really agree on that as well. So uh, moving on to the WoW platform, it's uh, the basis blockchain part of WoW platform. When WoW platform was first introduced, it was introduced as a Ethereum based platform. However, uh, it changed now off to Neo blockchain. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to ask you why and what the limitations you faced from the Ethereum blockchain and what benefits you saw in the Neo blockchain? Um, yes, previously, according to our um, business plan, we uh, would like to um, operate our platform and build our plat uh, platform based on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. But after a careful research and complete evaluation of different um, aspects of the blockchain functions, we move our system onto the NEO platform as we believe that the NEO system will uh, bring us more advantage um, in terms of its scalability and uh, stability. Um, and on the uh, WoW Exchange platform, um, we are offering different kinds of tokens. So we support not only the um, Ethereum tokens, but also the NEO tokens. So rounding up all the numbers of tokens that you guys support, how many is that? Is there? Um, unfortunately, I cannot give you uh, <laughs> a very uh, specific figure, but um, as I mentioned just now, based on the customer needs, we will try our best to offer as many as we can. But of course, we will do a very good uh, screening when we're choosing what kinds of tokens to be listed. So, WoW Exchange plans KYC, token distribution, and demo versions of released products mm. in the coming November, which is in two weeks. So. Will we be able to see WoW Exchange in the coming two weeks? And before that, will there be any promotion events or prom uh, maybe uh, somewhat of an event coming up in the future of two weeks? Hmm. Uh, we actually will be busy in the coming days. Um, as you know that in November, uh, we will uh, have uh, we will kick off the um, KYC registration for the users. And also we will uh, try to uh, distribute the tokens to our supporters. And in uh, December, we will also have a demo uh, testing for the users to experience. And in Q1 of 2019, we will uh, have a grand launch our, uh, of our Huawei Exchange. And in Q2, um, we will try to uh, provide security tokens uh, if it's ready. And also we will um, do the, um, we will provide the exchange market between crypto and fiat currencies. So you're here today taking part in Token News Conference, mm. and I'm pretty sure you're not from Korea, so you're visiting here. So how are you liking Korea so far, and uh, what do you think about the conference so far? Well, um, Korea is definitely a nice country that uh, so many people uh, dream of visiting, especially for uh, Hong Kong people, um, <laughs> as me as well. And um, this event is great, and it's my first time to do an, such a great interview here, and I, I'm kind of nervous. Well, um, to uh, sum up uh, the uh, interview uh, that I, I did just now, um, while we exchange, uh, it's going to uh, build uh, an exchange which will be equipped with the most advanced security system as well as legal and compliance support. And uh, we will plan to uh, expand our franchise business to different countries across different continents. And we do hope that um, in the near future we can cooperate with um, the local companies uh, and also security firms, local banks, as long as they possess um, some of the um, required license for doing business with, all, uh, with us. And we are really looking forward to this kind of cooperation. I will be looking forward to the release of WoW Exchange as well. Thank you so much for your time, Ms. Chen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Ms. Chen, the marketing principal, sorry, marketing manager of Sirius Capital. Thank you for watching. Thank you.